there's a minimal export culture within the South African context. How do we then enhance that culture? We have come up with an intervention measure which we call the National Exporter Development Program, which is aimed at enhancing our export culture to ensure that we retain the existing exporters, we have new entrants, as well as expand uh, the current uh, uh, role players within this market by helping the companies to look into uh, markets that they're not accustomed to. For instance, we all know that South Africa has been very comfortable over the years in terms of engaging with our traditional partners, but we believe that there's more benefit in engaging with the so-called new high growth markets in Africa, in Asia, as well as, in, as in, uh, in Latin America. South Africa has the most amazing islands of excellence within us. Uh, if you think financial services, Think JSE, think our banks, um, think of our auditing standards, our governance standards. These are leading the world. And those are just examples. We have similar sorts of examples in manufacturing and in amongst our small and medium enterprises. These are tiny little companies, 30, 40, 50 people employed, owner managed, who are exporting and in some cases, are world leaders in their particular field. And what is it that makes them so different to the others? Why cannot any SME, why cannot any large organization go out and export as effectively? It has to do with the passion, I think, of, of the owners, of the drivers of the business, of their foresightedness, of their ability to leverage their knowledge of that particular industry and take it out into the world. We're talking here of people who play in very tight and very specific niches. Once you have managed to take on and challenge a small niche and take it over, you can be extremely, sorry, you can be extremely successful.